Genshin Impact players can expect to earn many free primogems in the upcoming version 4.0 update. The next patch will be released on August 16, and players will be able to go to the long-awaited region Fontaine. In the recent special program livestream, the developers revealed all the upcoming content and as usual, there will be a couple of events, each rewarding a decent amount of primogems. The banners for the upcoming version have already been announced and Linny, Yelon, Child and Zhongli will get their reruns in version 4.0. So players might be wondering how many primo gems we will be able to get from version 4.0, and that's why I have calculated it for you. Let's start with the maintenance. You will get 600 primo gems as 4.0 update maintenance compensation. Version 4.0 will bring the new area Fontaine, and you can get up to 4000 primo gems from exploration alone, which includes doing world quests, completing adventurer's handbook missions, unlocking statue of the sevens and leveling it up, unlocking waypoints and domains, opening chests and by leveling up the new fountain of Lucene. You can get up to 600 primo gems for completing different achievements which will be released in 4.0 update. Since the update will last for 42 days, players can get 2520 primo gems from doing daily commissions. Spiral Abyss will reset 3 times, so if you're able to get 36 star each time, you will get 1800 primo gems from there as well, if you can get 36 stars. If you're aware about the Hoyo Lab daily check-in, you can get 100 primo gems from there as well. Paimon's Bargain Shop will reset once on September 1st, so you can get 5 intertwined fates and 5 acquaint fates from there. 4 limited banners mean 4 test runs as well, so you can get 80 primo gems for testing the characters. We will also get the Archon Quest Chapter 4 and Linny's Story Quest, so upon completion 150 primo gems from there. 300 primo gems from version 4.1 livestream program, 200 primo gems from various redeem codes and web events, 1000 primo gems from the flagship event of version 4.0, which is called Mega Mecha Melee. And you will also get a free constellation of Bennett after filling up the criteria. 420 primo gems from Relic Records Creations of the Hydro Nation, 420 primo gems from Studies in Light and Shadows, a Fontaine of Enchantment event. And lastly 420 Primo Gems from Verdict of Blades event. You will also get 5 Acquaint Fates from the free pass. Now if you add these, F2P players can obtain about 13,400 Primo Gems or 83 Intertwined Fates and 10 Acquaint Fates. Remember that these numbers are just for free to play players and Welkin Moon and Battle Pass are not included. If you buy Welkin Moon, then players can obtain around 17,540 primogems or 109 intertwined fates. You will also get Lynette for free if your adventure rank is more than 25. Getting two free 4-star characters doesn't happen very often. Are you satisfied with the amount primo gems we will get? Or you think Hoyoverse should increase the numbers? Let me know in the comments.